Per Immacolata in Virginis Concezione, digno un figlio tuo abitacolo preparasti, pues omus ut vies morte ius den figli tui previsa, e amabomni lave preservasti, nos quoque mundo seius intercessione, ad te per venire concedas, per un den dominum nostrum, Gesù Cristo un figlio un tu, Qui te cum vivit et regnat, in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Oremus, et cita Domine corda nostra, ad preparanda suni geniti tue veas, ut pere veius ad eventum, Purificati si viventi vu servire mere amor, cui te cum vivit et regnat, in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Lexio libri sapiensi, Dominus possedit me in initio via non suadum, ante quam quid quam faceret a principio, ab eterno ordinata sumet ex antiquis, ante quam terra fiere, Nandum erant abissi, et ego iam concepta era, nec dum fontes aquarum erupera, nec dum montes gravi mole constitera, ante coles ego parturieva, adupteram non fecerat et flumina et cardines orbis terre. Quando preparabat celos aderam, Quando certa legge et ciro vallabat abissos, Quando etera firmabat sursum et librabat fontes aquarum, Quando circumdabat mari terminum sum et legem conebat aquis ne transirent fines suos, quando appendebat fundamenta terri, cum io eram cumta componens, et delectabar per singulos dies, ludens corami o omni tempori, ludens in orbe terrarum, et delicimi essi cum filis omini. Non cergo fili audite me, beati qui custodiunt vias meas. Audite me, beati qui custodiunt vias meas.
audite disciplina metestote sapientes et nolite abiciria. Beatus homo qui audit me et qui vigilat ad fores me ascotidi et observat ad postes ostimi. Qui me in venerit in veniet vita et auriet salutem ad Domino. Oh, no. 
Reading of the book of Proverbs. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his ways before he made anything from the beginning. I was set up from eternity and of all before the earth was made. The depths were not as yet and I was already conceived. Neither had the fountains of waters as yet sprung out. The mountains with their huge bulk had not as yet been established. Before the hills I was brought forth he had not as yet made the earth, nor the rivers, nor the poles of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was present. When with a certain law and compass he enclosed the depths, when he established the sky above and poised the fountains of waters, when he compassed the sea with its bounds and set a law to the waters that they would not pass their limits, when he balanced the foundations of the earth, I was with him forming all things. And I was delighted every day playing before him at all times, playing in the world, and my delights were to be with the children of men. Now therefore, children, hear me. Blessed are they who keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man who hears me and who watches daily at my gates and waits at the posts of my doors, he who shall find me shall find life and shall have salvation from the Lord. Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. At that time, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And when the angel had come to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Please be seated. After the creed, there will be the singing of the Veni Creator, and the priest will renew uh, their uh, oblation uh, in, uh, inside the Society of St. Pius X, and then the Third Order members, so we have nine professions today. Uh, after this beautiful uh, ceremony, 
celebrating the, in, a, in a belated way, but the 50th anniversary of the society with all the priests, brothers, and uh, oblates of the, the district. Uh, after uh, the, the mass, so there will be a banquet for these members, so exclusively for the priests, brothers, and oblates, downstairs in the parish hall. On Saturday, we will have the Antipolo pilgrimage, as already announced previously, with the mass at 3 a.m. And so starting from, from here, so walking uh, throughout the morning, uh, so you can still register uh, outside the church. So those with cars cannot tail the pilgrims, but they can wait at the stopover at the various churches. Uh, all that has been posted on our FB page. So if you have any questions, you can contact one of the legionaries at the entrance or ask Mr. Ted Dyson for details. This coming Sunday, masses will be at the usual time, 7.15, 9 and 11 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. And as uh, every year, we will have the Missa de Gallio so uh, before Christmas, starting on the 16th of December with the Mass at 4.30 in the morning. And as in the past, during these nine days, we will have a Mass Novena, so offering these Masses for all your intentions. Envelopes are available at the entrance of the church. Uh, put all, all your, your intentions and donations, and you can put that in the, in the mailbox by the sacristy. And, so, and we are uh, delighted to have with us the, uh, the Superior General of the Society of St. Pius X was Reverend Father David, uh, Davide Pagliarani, uh, to whom I leave the floor for the sermon. Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Uh, amen. What a beautiful joy to see together this beautiful feast day. The priests, the brothers, the nuns of the society, the oblates, and uh, the members of the Third Order, the whole family, without the faithful, of course is here, got together. And especially today, this feast day of the Immaculate Conception has a special meaning to the society and to each one of us. And I would like with you to meditate a few, few minutes about this meaning. Why do we celebrate this uh, feast day of Our Lady with great solemnity? Well, the Immaculate Conception does uh, summarize perfectly the work of God, how God is working, what's the goal of redemption. Everything is written clearly in this mystery of the Immaculate Conception. And which are the features of this work of God? First of all, this uh, work is hidden to the world. The masterpiece of redemption, the Immaculate Conception, was hidden to the world. Only God knew what happened in that soul. This is interesting for us. God doesn't care about the world. Not everybody is supposed to know, to understand. He works freely in his way. And even uh, the great mystery of Calvary 
what happened there on Golgotha, the Good Friday. Well, that was a mystery. Everybody could see three crucified men, but very few knew what was going on. God has his way, his time, his time. Even for the church nowadays, why God is allowing this crisis? He knows. He knows. He knows what he's preparing. He knows how and when the triumph of the church, the shining of his divinity, will get clear to everybody. God is never in a hurry, like we are usually. And the second feature of the Immaculate Conception, of this work of God, is that uh, it's radical and perfect. The destruction of sin in Our Lady was radical and perfect since the very beginning. When a work is really a work of God, is perfect, radical, and permanent. And that's why the Immaculate Concession is the most beautiful image of redemption. It shows clearly what, what's the meaning of redemption, the destruction of sin, the defeat of the devil once and forever. And thirdly, another great uh, teaching is hidden in this mystery of the Immaculate Conception. Even if Our Lady was uh, preserved from the very beginning, nevertheless, God was going to ask her her cooperation. And uh, such a cooperation proportional to the grace she received. This is very important for us also. How much we received, priest, religious, faithful, how much we received in the middle of the, of the apostasy, in the middle of the desert, the spiritual desert of nowadays, how much we received without deserving this. Well, that's normal, that's consequent that our Lord is going to ask us, is asking us to cooperate, to carry our cross, to do His will, whatever it takes. And... Uh, Third, the case of Our Lady is unique because in her case, the complete victory is preceding the battle. We still don't know, unfortunately, we still don't know the state of our soul when we will appear before God. We are not confirmed in grace, in the state of grace. We do our best to keep it, of course. In the case of Our Lady, that was different. The victory the final victory came at the beginning. Why? God uh, 
wanted this. Of course, you we know to prepare a mother for uh, his son. But there is, there is another reason concerning us. Uh, that's uh, in order to foster our hope. Because we know, even if we are still fighting, we, sh we are struggling, we know in advance that uh, the victory is there. We are struggling, but a battle that is already won since the beginning. Our battle is already won. Even if God wants us to struggle with all our strength, all our will, all our love. And you see, in the project of God, in the vision of God, the will of God, this victory is ensured to us if we stay with Our Lady, if Our Lady is really our refuge. We win, we win if we stay with her. If we stay with her, we share her victory. And this victory is already there. You see how, how deep, how rich is this mystery of Immaculate Conception. First of all, to celebrate the beauty of Our Lady, but also, also to point out our own sanctification, the secret of our own sanctification. What God is asking us in one word, is asking us uh, to destroy sin, whatever could still remain of sin in our soul. We need to destroy it completely with His grace, of course. And as well as Our Lady was prepared, immaculate, without sin, spotless, in order to be the Mother of God, we also, we need uh, to destroy sin in order to be one with our Lord Jesus Christ. We cannot have our Lord as a friend. We cannot have our Lord as a brother. We cannot unite our soul to Him, to His person, if sin is still there. If the enemy of God, sin, is still in our heart. So this work that was done in uh, Our Lady in one second is the work of our life, of every day. For everybody, for every faithful, but in particular for a consecrated soul. For the nuns, the brothers, the priests. For the members of the Third Order, we are so happy to receive uh, nine professions. And uh, we will pray for them in particular during this Mass. We are sure, we are sure, if they have the good disposition, Our Lady will, will grant them and will grant each one of us this grace to destroy completely whatever can still remain of sin in our soul and to give us, to each one of us, this uh, perfect union with our Lord, which is the purpose of the Church. The Church is in this world, working in this world, only for this purpose, to unite every soul to our Lord. And that's the purpose of the Society St. Pius X. Why we keep the Holy Mass? 
Why we keep tradition? Why we strive to keep faith? The purpose is this one. To keep possible this union, this perfect union with our Lord. This is the grace we have to ask every day. And this is the main moral grace. Our Lady doesn't have any other purpose in heaven than to unite every soul, each one of us, to her Son. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.
Dear brethren, what do you ask? Deo, gracias. Adutorium nostrum in nomine domini. Dominus cubiscum. Oremus, rogamus, te domine, sante, Padre onipotens, eterne Deus, udinieris benedicere, signa cruci, sucit remedium, salutare, genere umano, si solidita sfidei, profectus bonorum operum, redemptio animarum, si solamen et protectio, a tutela contra seva, iacula inimicorum, per Christum dominum nostrum. Oremus, benedic, domine, Iesu Christe, as cruces, per quam eripuisti mundum a potestate demonum, e superasti passione tua sul gestore in peccati, qui gaudebat in prevericazione primi hominis per ligni venditi sumptionem. Santificentur, e che signa crucis in nomine Patris, et Fili et Spiritus Santi, uturantes, inclantesco e se propter domino ante istas crucis in venian corporis et anime sanitatem, per endem Christum Dominum nostrum. Onipotens sempre eterne Deus, qui santorum tuorum effigies, sculpi a orpingino reprovas, ut quotes illa soculis corporis in tuemur, tosti eseorum actus et sanctitatem, ad imitandum memoria oculis in imit meditemur. Ecco quesumus numismata in onorem et memoriam beatissime virginis Maria Matris Domini nostri Iesu Christi, e beati pidecimi, summi pontificis adaptata benedicere, et te santificare dinieris, et presta al quicunque et cora milis, beatissimum, beatissimam virginem e gloriosum pium decimum, 
Sumo Pontificem Tuum, Supliciter Colere, et Honorare Studueri, Illius Meritis et Obtentu, a Te gratia in presente et eternam gloria, obtinat in futurum, per Christum Domum Nostrum. And now we will all together invoke the most blessed Virgin Mary, so that she will give you the graces necessary to accomplish your profession with saintly dispositions. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe audinos, Christe exaudinos, Pate de Celis Deus, Fili Redentor Mundi Deus, Spiritu Sante Deus, Santa Trinita Sunus Deus, Holy Mary, pray for us, Holy Mother of God, Holy Virgin of Virgins, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Mother of Divine Grace, Mother Most Pure, Mother Most Chaste, Mother Unviolate, Mother Undefiled, Mother Immaculate, Mother Most Amiable, Mother Admirable, Mother of Good Counsel, Mother of our Creator, Mother of our Savior, Virgin Most Prudent, Virgin Most Venerable, Virgin Most Renewed, Virgin Most Powerful, Virgin Most Merciful, Virgin Most Faithful, Mirror of Justice, Seat of Wisdom, Cause of our Joy, Spiritual Vessel, Vessel of Honor, Singular Vessel of Devotion, Mystical Rose, Tower of David, Tower of Ivory, House of Gold, Ark of the Covenant, Gate of Heaven, Morning Star, House of the Sick, Refuge of Sinners, Comfort of the Afflicted, Help of Christians, Queen of Angels, Queen of Patriarchs, Queen of Prophets, Queen of Apostles, Queen of Martyrs, Queen of Confessors, Queen of Virgins, Queen of All Saints, Queen conceived without original sin, Queen assumed into heaven, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Queen of Peace, Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Grant we beseech thee, O Lord, unto the, us, uh, thy servants, that we may rejoice in continual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may be delivered from the present sadness and enter into the joy of thine eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Now you will pronounce your profession.
and us, we receive you as members of the Third Order of the Society St. Pius X, and we ask of God to give you the graces that you have just now requested in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Receive this medal that you will wear under the special protection of our most holy St. Pius X in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Receive the cross of our Lord. May it impress an indelible sign upon your heart and may it be your protection by which you will be brought to the great victory in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Receive this medal that you will wear under the special protection of our most holy St. Pius X, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Receive the cross of our Lord. May it impress an indelible sign upon your heart and may it be your protection by which you will be brought to the great victory in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Receive this medal that you will wear under the special protection of our most holy St. Pius X in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Receive the cross of our Lord. May it impress an indelible sign upon your heart and may it be your protection by which you will be brought to the great victory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Receive this medal that you will wear under the special protection of our most holy St. Pius X. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Receive the cross of our Lord, may it impress an indelible sign upon your heart. It may be your protection by which you will be brought to a great victory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Receive this medal that you will wear under the special protection of our most holy St. Pius X. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Receive the cross of our Lord. May it impress an indelible sign upon your heart. And may it be your protection by which you will be brought to the great victory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Receive this medal that you will wear under the special protection of the, our most holy St. Pius X in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Receive the cross of our Lord, may it impress an indelible sign upon your heart, and may it be your protection, by which we you will be brought to the great victory in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Receive this medal that you will wear under the special protection of our most holy St. Pius X. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Receive the cross of our Lord. May it impress an indelible sign upon your heart, and may it be your protection 
by which we will be brought to the great victory in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Receive this medal that you will wear under the special protection of our most holy St. Pius X, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Receive the cross of our Lord, made impress an indelible sign upon your heart, and may it be your protection by which you will be brought to the great victory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Receive the medal of, that you will wear under the special protection of our most holy St. Pius X. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Receive the cross of our Lord, may it impress an indelible sign upon your heart, and may it be your protection by which you will be brought to the great victory in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Dominus Vobescum
Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus vobiscum. Amen. Grazia sagamus, Domino Deo nostro. Grazia Sager, Domine Sante, Pater Onnipotens Eterne Deus, et de te in concezione immaculata, Beate Maria Semper Virginis, collaudare, benedicere, re. Quet unigenitum tuum, Santi Spiritus o Combrazione concepi, et virginitatis gloria permanente, lumen eterno mundo et fude, Iesum Christum Domi, nome nostru, Per quem maiestatem tuam laudant angeli, adoram dominationes, tremum potestates, celi celorunque virtutes, ac beata serafim, Exultatione concelebam, 
cum cui buset nostra să voce, cu toată mitii iubeați de precamu, suplice, confesiune de
secula seculo. Precetti salutaribus moniti, e divina istituzione formati, audemus dicere, Pater nostr qui es in celis, santificetur nomen tu, adveniat regnum tu, fiat voluntas tua, Sicut in cielo et in terra, pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis sodie, ed imite nobis de vita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus de vitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentazione. Per ogni secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscu.
Sacramenta Quesusimus Domine Deus Noster, Elius in nobis culpe vulnera reparem, Aqua Immaculatam Beate Marie Concepcionem, Singulariter presere vasti, Per Dominum Nostrum Iesum Christum Filium Tuum, Qui tecum vivit et regnat, In unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Oremus, repleticibo spiritualis alimonie, supplicites, te domine de pregamus, putuius participazione misteri, docias nostri ad espicere et amare celestio, Per Dominum Nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filium Tuo, qui tecum vivit et regna, in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Dominus Vobesum,